Hi, this is Richard from Alvia. I'm going to tell you how to get virtual reality working on an iMac Pro. It shouldn't work as standard, but it does with the DK2, the development kit 2 from Oculus. This is the last one that's supported at the moment as we speak, which is February 2018. So we need some adapters. As standard, this doesn't work out of the box. It crashes. A new iMac. A new iMac Pro. Thanks very much. So, first of all, we need one of these. It's a mini display port to Thunderbolt or USB-C. And this can be anything. This doesn't need to be an Apple one. This can be a cheaper one. This step two can be a cheaper one. It's a DVI to HDMI, can be a cheap one. But we need this one from Apple. This is a dual link DVI to mini display port. Now this goes through this mini display port here, plugs into the back. And then we need to go through the DVI adapter into the DK2. Now we've got a gotcha. If I plug, as you think you would, the HDMI into here, and then the USB that comes with it into this adapter, it does not work. But if we take the USB from the DK2 and put it directly into the machine or through a separate adapter, then it works. So we just can't use this at the same time. We need the Apple DVI dual link and the USB to go into a different port. And then it works as standard, out of the box. Download the Oculus configuration tool and you're off. Now I've got this working with the head tracker so I can move in space in six degrees of freedom and without so I can watch 3D videos uh, as we're editing on the DK2. This is great for using Premiere and Final Cut so we can look at what we're doing in 360 whilst we're editing our videos. Same as we did on the old machine with the uh, Titan uh, Maxwell card but with the iMac Pro this has got the Vega in there so it's got 16 gigabytes worth of RAM and it's super smooth. So who says that you can't use virtual reality 360 video on the iMac Pro? Yes you can and this is great for developing in Unity as well. Let me know how you get on. I hope this helps.